Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. What a game that was. I always say that at the beginning of the videos, but honestly, what a game that was. It was 2 hours and 21 minutes and a lot of zeros. <laughs> We're going to break down everything that happened in this game. I don't know how I'm going to make this a 10 minute video, but we're going to get there. <laughs> so, like I said, there is a ton of zeros in this game. There was only four pitchers used, two by each side. There were only two runs that scored, both by the Twins. And there were six total hits, four by the Twins, two by the Royals. My goodness sakes, guys. I don't, I didn't get to see the game because I was at work. But I tell you what, you would have blinked and you would have missed this game. I could put the whole game in this game review and I think that that would be you know about the length of a normal game review uh, but goodness sakes like what a quick game what a very efficient game by the pitchers what a good game for the twins it gets us a win it gets us closer to the playoffs and that's what's important right no matter what the score is we could win 29 to 70 175 to 0 2 to 0 right it doesn't matter a win is a win that's what's important. The number, the magic number keeps shrinking. I think, what is it, 85 now? 86? Right around there. Um, I'm not sure what Cleveland did tonight. Cleveland was off yesterday. We had 11-game lead. Cleveland destroyed Detroit today. Okay, so that didn't help us. But what can you do? I guess sometimes they have to have a good game too. But we got the win. That keeps the game at 11 uh, apiece. So that's what's great. Now let's talk about the game. We'll go to the box score first. Let's go. Okay, two to nothing. We scored in the eighth inning. Goodness sakes, a bunch of zeros are on the board. I tell you what, though. I want to know what your opinion is. I like these kind of games, right? Maybe not every single day. I like a good home run derby. I like, you know, a couple of good plays in the field. Bases loaded jams that they got to get out of. There was nothing, none of that in this game. Um, lots of zeros until the eighth inning. But, hey, Garver did what he needed to do. Uh, and so did the Twins, right? I mean, Gibson had a great performance. Rogers came in for the save. Let's talk about it. So box score again, two to nothing. We scored four or two runs on four hits. They scored zero runs on two hits. So what a job. What a freaking job by the pitchers today. Um, this is our sixth shutout of the year, if I'm correct. Um, I believe we have uh, six. I could be missing one in there. I thought I went and looked, but six shutouts on the year. That's pretty good. We've only been shut out once, I believe, maybe twice. So there you go. Um, those are that kind of stats. Now, let's just go to the pitching, okay? So we got nothing else to talk about with the box score. Gibson gets his seventh win of the year. He's 7-3. and three. That was a must-needed win. Not that he's been doing bad in his last couple of starts. Mentioned that in the series preview, but he did great today. That's the kind of bounce-back performance, even if they had a good game. You know, that's a that's a... That's the game they want to have every time, right? And and Gibson threw eight innings. He had a Maddox going. If you don't know what a Maddox is, it's a complete game shutout in under 100 pitches. I thought he should have had it. I don't... Can somebody let me know why they took him out? Was it just because it was a close game? I mean, granted, the, he had gone eight innings, right? He had gone eight innings, and then they scored two. We scored two. Why didn't we put him out there for the ninth? Did he was he was he fading a little bit? He only threw what 88 pitches? What? What are we doing? Why are we not putting him back out there? I mean, think about this. This is my philosophy, right? I am a hundred percent down for winning games. Okay? That is my philosophy. You win the game first. But when you have, when you're up two to nothing, you're you're allowed a little bit of lenience, right? And I get that, you know, okay, if Gibson lets on a base runner and he he gets pulled after that, a home run does tie the game. The likeliness of that happening with our bullpen, I guess, is good. But when Gibson is pitching this good, I just don't think that you, would, you should take him out. At least put him out there for the ninth. Did they? I guess I, I didn't see it. They didn't put him out there in the ninth and he, he didn't get out of it, right? Because he didn't walk anybody didn't give up a hit in the ninth um so I'm, I'm i'm almost sure he didn't give up a hit in the ninth am i correct about that yeah so i don't know why we couldn't 
we couldn't leave him out there. Um, and, you know, at least let him try for it. I mean, you, you see these nowadays where pitchers do not even get the chance to go out there and throw a complete game anymore. Granted, I guess it was a 2-0 to zero game is what made that decision. But realistically, I'm down for you at least put him out there. So let me, I want to know those two things, guys. Down in the comments below, we'll have a discussion about it. I want to know, are you guys a fan of the pitcher duels like this, two hours and 21 minutes, or are you like a big home run strikeout fest? You either hit a home run or you strike out. Granted, there were a lot of strikeouts in this game, uh, but what do you like? I want to know that. And then, of course, what do you think we should have done with Gibson today? I think we should have put him out there for the ninth, at least for one batter. But, of course, winning the game is more important. I think if we would have scored maybe three or more, that would have given Gibson the chance, but come on, Baldelli. Ah, so let's go to uh, the rest of the game. So, uh, he had eight innings, two hits, six strikeouts, no walks, no earned runs. That's an Oda Rizzi performance right there. Uh, and then uh, Rogers came in, got the save, pitched one inning, struck one guy out. That's it. So solid three innings. Uh, he threw 10 pitches, seven of them were strikes. Good job uh, by, by our pitching staff. I said that yesterday. Uh, or in this morning's video in the series preview, Keller's going to give you innings. He's going to go through innings. He gave him a, a heck of a shot uh, with seven innings, only giving up three hits, struck out five walks, three. The walks obviously got him in a little bit of trouble there. But then Diekman came in. We got one home run off of him. That's it. We got the one hit, two run home run uh, by Garver, and that was enough. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the hitting, I guess. Uh they left one runner on base. Obviously, when you only get two hits, you're not really going to do much. Um, but they left one runner on base. That's it. <laughs> that is... That's all I did. Uh, one of them, they grounded into a double play. And then they left Merrifield on base with two outs at second base. That's it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hamilton and Merrifield were the only people who got on base. <laughs> you don't hear that ever. Um, but... Let's talk about our hitting. Um, I mean, we could go through each individual inning if you wanted to. Um, let's just do that really quick. Uh, in the first inning, uh, Max Kepler led off the game with a single, then a flyout, um, and then a strikeout. That was it. Uh, caught stealing. Max Kepler got caught stealing. Bottom of the second, one, two, three. Bottom of the third, one, two, three. Bottom of the fourth, Polanco walked. He increased his on-base percentage uh, or his uh, on-base streak to 27, I believe. He lost his hitting streak at 14. That kind of sucks. But on-base streak at 27, that's really good. Um, but then a 1-2-3 other than the, the walk. Um, in the bottom of the fifth, there was a ground out, a fielder's error, a single, and then a ground into a double play. The sixth inning, a walk by Max Kepler. Byron Buxton was hit by a pitch. I think he got taken out of the game at that point. Um, strikeout, flyout, flyout. Bottom of the seventh. A strikeout walk single, ground into a double play. That's the second time Scope grounded into a double play. Uh, and then in the eighth inning, this is where we get to the juicy part of it. Marwin Gonzalez lined out. He came in for Buxton. Uh, Kepler walked again. Then Polanco lined out, and Garver hit a home run. Just barely squeaked over the wall. But, hey, it did what he needed it to do, which put the Twins up 2 to nothing, and then Rosario struck out. Uh, and then in the ninth, we didn't even have to bat. So that's that was it. I mean, literally a bunch of zeros. We had a couple of little pieces of action in there, and obviously the double plays. But you know what? We got the job done. That's what I'm saying. So one more time, we'll go through the box score here. Kepler went one for two with two walks. He scored the run. Uh, Polanco went 0 for three, but he did get the walk, um, which helped his on-base streak. Then Garver batting in the three spot tonight. He's been killing it. Um, average is 318. Polanco's is 335. His OPS is still over 1,000 for Garver. He went one for four tonight with a two run home run, scored two RBIs, and got the run. Then you go Rosario, Crone, Sano. Uh, 0 for four, 0 for three, 0 for two. Uh, Sano did strike out once, and he walked once. Then Andreans, again, two for three tonight. He's had a good night, uh, or a good couple of nights. Uh, he's really got his average back up. He's doing really well. Uh, scope 0 for 3 and 2 double plays and then Buxton and Gonzalez both went 0 for 1 so I mean like I said we, we left 5 guys on base we went 0 for 5 in runners in scoring position obviously if we would have scored a little bit more of those runs it would be a little bit better of a score for us but 
other than that a bunch of zeros and finally we came through in the clutch that's what i'm talking about right so if you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you made it to the end uh i don't know what to tell you <laughs> that was a bad game uh not really a bad game we got the win but it was a boring game at least from the box score perspective maybe it was a little bit more exciting to watch it but that's all i got for you today if you guys did miss the video from earlier today or uh, if you missed a, a good video, check them out right here somewhere around my face. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. Peace out.